All right. So when you're actually talking to different sellers or your VA or whoever's doing the initial call or your acquisitions mm -hmm. person, what type of screening are they doing? Are they doing to just see if they want to sell to gauge motivation or are they trying to see if they would accept some type of creative terms or what type of screening are they doing when they talk to these people? Yeah, honestly, we don't do a lot of creative terms. That's something that I, I want to educate myself in and get a little bit more into that because I lacked in that area. But mainly what we're trying to do is just figure out to determine in their situation, are they a distressed seller? One thing we do, and this is what we tell every homeowner up front, and this helps us build a strong rapport so they understand how our business model is. We tell them up front what we do, which is we got three extra strategies. One, we may buy your property up, fix it up, put it back on the market, resell it. Two, we may buy it, fix it up, we might hold it as a rental. Three, we may buy it, sell it the same day as is to another investor that we see is a better fit for the project, which is us explaining that we may also that deal with the same in a better way. Wait a minute, that was heavy right there. You got, we got to don't, don't run over that too quick. That was heavy, that number one, that sounded strong. You okay. tell them, wait a minute, we might just buy it and sell it the same day. And that's today, mine, it sounded like, what? Oh, wow. Yeah. I like so, that. So when we say that, when we say, hey, we might buy a house the same day, sell it as is to another investor that we see is a better fit for the project. But we also say, like, regardless, today, if we agree on a price, whatever that price is, no matter what extra strategy we're going to use, you're going to be locked in in that price that we're going to give. And so they don't care. So when we are marketing the property, you know, dispo on it, and they might see that we got their property listed, you know, Craigslist or whatever, we tell them, hey, listen, it's just a little more work for the project. We felt that we should go ahead and, and market it to one of our buyers. We're just basically exercising our third strategy that we told you guys about. And our homeowners never get mad about it because it's like, okay, I'll use up front about it. You know? Mm, I like that. And it was smooth and subtle. It wasn't over complicated. Sometimes we just buy and sell the same day to another investor. Smooth. I like that. Yeah. I have to steal it. No. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. So, you know, we'll put it to the test. See, people think we just on these streams talking that talk, but we be picking up little nuggets. I hope y'all are watching in the, in the comments. I see we got some comments here. If you do have any questions about anything we're speaking about, put it in the comments and uh, we'll definitely try to get an answer for you guys.